The question we have here today is, should we pray for the unsaved? I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Second Peter 3, 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. What that says is that God desires that all men come to repentance. He's not willing. God does not will. It's against the will of God that anyone should perish. Now, let me ask you, do some people perish? Yes. Then God's not getting his will. God's will is not being done. The people who do not believe the gospel, who do not repent, are preventing God's will from being done. They're able to stand against the will of God and defeat God in his will for them to be saved. In other words, the power is in their hands. It's in our hands as to what we decide to do, whether we believe or whether we repent or not. So since God is not willing, then sinners perish against God's will. Now here's another one. Who will have all men to be saved and come under the knowledge of the truth? So God would have all men be saved, but they don't all get saved. So God's will is not accomplished. Now when we pray to God that unsaved individuals should be saved, what more can God do than will that they be saved? What more can he do than to will they come to repentance, that they come to the knowledge of the truth? That's what God wills already. Before we even pray a prayer, he wills that. Luke 10, 1 through 3. After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them out two before his face to every city and place, whether he would come himself. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers, into his harvest. Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. So he spoke of prayer. Jesus spoke of prayer in regard to the great harvest, potential harvest of souls that were out there. He didn't say pray for them that they would be saved. I mean, that was God's will. That was Jesus' desire. Jesus and the Father were doing all they could do. Now he's telling the disciples to do all they can do. And when he tells them to pray, doesn't tell them to pray that these people will get saved. He says, pray the Lord of the harvest will send forth additional laborers. So in other words, you're praying for Bangladesh. You don't pray that that particular man in Bangladesh would get saved. God's doing everything he can. You pray that someone will go to that man and share the gospel with him so that he has the opportunity to be saved. Or you go yourself. 